it's Kara here. I just thought I would share with you one of my tips that I've been using a lot lately. Um, I'm a huge dessert lover, major sweet tooth. Um, so lately, now that I'm not in competition mode, it's hard for me to resist wanting all the treats and desserts. You know, when you're in competition mode, you know, you have that goal to focus on. Right now I'm not, so it's easy for me to, for me to just be like, well, hey, why not? Why not eat some donuts? But I'm trying not to do that because I want to maintain my health and a somewhat nice physique. Um, so one of my tips for you and that I've been using when I am craving something sweet is having a salad with some fruit in it. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do and it actually really does help satisfy a sweet tooth. So what I'm going to make tonight, and I'm just showing you guys, one of my favorite things to do is um, use some baby spinach for my salad. Love using baby spinach. You can use whatever lettuce you want, obviously. I like baby spinach because it's little. I hate eating romaine lettuce when it's like this big and it's impossible to chew it all up and it's a mess. Um, I'm anal like that. So I like baby spinach. It's dark green leafy. It's good for you. Very high in vitamin A. It gives you a little bit of vitamin C too. So you're getting some nutrition from this. Whereas if you eat, you know, your iceberg lettuce, it's pretty water dense, but you're not getting any real vitamins from it. So always good to go with your dark greens. So I like this. Lately, I've been doing either strawberries or um, some fresh apples because it's apple picking season in central New York, which I love. Um, but for me, adding some fresh fruit, like some strawberries to baby spinach is delicious. So I'll toss that in there. Again, another excellent source of vitamin C, fiber. Strawberries are very water dense. Sure, there's some sugar in there and carbs, but it's natural sugar. So it's a little bit different than going out and eating donuts, okay? So, and this helps satisfy my sweet tooth. And then the other thing I'll do too is throw in some type of nuts. I love nuts in my salad. Um, you could go with a more natural nut. But again, I'm talking, I'm trying to prevent myself from eating donuts here, okay? So these pecan um, nuts, they're kind of sweetened a little bit. Yeah, there's some sugar and stuff added to them. So they are sweeter tasting. There's a little more carbs and sugar in them. So you have to be mindful of how much you're using. Um, I know a lot of you guys track your macros. I do as well. Use my fitness pal. You just put it in there and try to stay within your macros for the day if that's what you guys do. So I'll add a little bit of these guys onto it. Gives it a little crunch. The other thing I might add to is some craisins. Not a ton, because I like eating the fresh fruit instead. But again, I like making myself a big ass salad with all kinds of goodies in it. So um, they make the 50% reduced sugar um, craisins. They just sub it out and you get a little bit of fiber. And these guys, a fourth of a cup has like 10 grams of fiber. So you can throw some of those in there. And the other thing I'll do is add like a four ounce piece of grilled chicken to it and chop it all up. Um, and add it to my salad. And there's also um, my favorite dressing right now for this salad too is by Panera Bread. If you guys ever go and eat there, they actually have their own line of salad dressings. Um, I think I bought it at Target, but it's a poppy seed dressing that's fat free, very low in calories, and you know, it's pretty delicious and cheap. So I like adding that to the salad as well. So there you have it, makes for a nice, Big ass sweet salad, high in fiber, get your protein, you get some carbs, you get some fats, super satisfying and delicious, and it doesn't leave me wanting dessert afterwards. So, you know, you just gotta work your way around it. So that's what I've been doing lately. Just a tip for you guys, hope you like it. Um, some of you may already do this, but like I said, it works for me. And uh, you guys keep letting me know what kinds of information you want to hear from me. Um, I'm not competing right now, so I have a little more time on my hands to answer your questions and give you more educational information. So ask away, and I will help give you guys videos to um, help you guys out. So we'll see you soon. Just wanted to pull out and show you guys the salad dressing really quick in case you weren't sure what the heck I was talking about. Poppy seed dressing. Um, it's fat free, only 15 calories in a couple tablespoons. You can see it's kind of a thinner dressing so you just kind of toss it all up. You don't need to use a lot of it. Keeps it fairly low in calories and healthy. And this has a nice sweet flavor so I really like it. Check it out.